Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and I'm so happy and delighted to be here to share with you today about how to um, dramatically and drastically transform and uplift um, your relationships extremely powerfully. So it's been something I've been learning for a long time. And I just felt inspired to share with you today because I really care about people and I want them to be happy. I want you to be happy and well and to thrive in your relationships. I want you to be able to seek closure. I want you to be able to let go of the past. I want you to be able to let go of upsets, sadness and bad feelings and hardships. To let go of all the negative emotions that, that block you and hold you back. Mm. Oh, and I want to say happy 331 for US time. For all you Americans out there. <laughs> um, good day, Carly. Thank you. And I want you to be able to feel powerful instead of powerless. And I want you to feel inspired instead of not inspired. And I want you to know what to do and feel clear instead of not knowing what to do and feeling cloudy or foggy. So I want you, basically speaking, to feel super way better and awesome compared to not feeling too good at all, or even just less empowered. I want you to feel more powerful, more inspired, positive and clear. And I want you to have more fun doing all of this transformation in your life and letting go and expanding and take it in your stride with a sense of, a sense of like, you know, confidence in the divine and in you and the divine in you, okay? I want you to be able to transform your life and create the life of your dreams with fun and happiness and enjoyment in your shoes, in your boots, in your tail, your fluffy, furry tail. Going forward with the wind beneath your feet, with the breeze blowing you forward, <laughs> with a sense of more ease, gracefulness, energy, positive energy and inspired energy, positive energy moving you forward like a really good like the wind has your back blowing you uphill. So it's more easy and less less tough, more fun, more enjoyable, everybody, more enjoyment, less hardship and struggle and strain and stress and effort, more effortlessness, more peacefulness, more enjoying transforming your life and your romance and your relationships and your business. Although this video is about relationships. And uh, yeah, everyone, thank you for very much. Do feel welcome to share and like and leave any questions and comments and i thank you for sharing that to help others too so so how do we step into this place of inner alignment that we do actually uh, what do we say how do we communicate with others um, i used to study nonviolent communication by dr marshall uh, rosenberg and i really encourage his three-hour workshop um, free on YouTube um, I watched it mo more than twice two and a half times in the past but what I found lately is through the teachings of of Abraham my favorite teacher ever um, they actually I was walking up my my local mountain called Brayhead and what I realized is that they teach nonviolent communication <laughs> without even trying to <laughs> It's also called compassionate communication, but I want to call it also empowered, awesome, delightful communication, fun communication, tender, warm hearted, transformative communication, uh, imaginative, creative, fun communication, using the word fun again, because the more fun we can have in life, the more it's effortlessness, the more it's fun and enjoyable, the better. We all want to create the life of our dreams with a sense of fun, ease and grace, not struggle or effort or unease, ease, grace, fun and enjoyment everyone. I encourage anyone want to change their diet, do anything and change, do it with fun and enjoyment. Enjoy yourself, have fun and play, play with it. So if anyone wants to try and like, let's say switch to a blah, blah diet, this diet, whatever diet, detox, do this, heal, look for a new job, change your relationship create the body of your dreams like for me i like being fit and sculpting my body don't 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 approach it with a attitude or mindset of like struggle or stress or hardship do it with fun have fun same with your diet don't try and rush to be dogmatic have fun and enjoy yourself everyone life's short so we may as well enjoy ourselves and that applies to everything okay 
So I know I've been like just building it up here, trying to make it juicy before we start the ball rolling. <laughs> but yeah, life life is meant to be fun and enjoy it, everybody. So okay, so so in my life, what's been working fantastically well, how to transform relationships powerfully and with compassionate, loving, fun, transformative communication is one you encourage people more like so like one okay you, you be on their side let it be known and feel into it first that you want to be on their side now that doesn't mean you're not on your side but it means you want to be on their side also because what i know is when people argue typically they're not on each other's side and they're fighting for power because one or both feel powerless and they're fighting for a sense of power and to be heard and a sense of like power or control so that what they want is given weight and someone might help give them what they really want which we all want stuff like my stuff so so arguments only happen when people are butting heads now if you feel into the feeling and want to be on somebody's side and you, you can even express it to them like i'm on your side like i'm rooting for you you can say all these words every powerful transformative positive words I love you, I care for you. You don't even have to say those words. Say, like, I'm on your side, I'm rooting for you, I want you to be happy, like, I'm not disagreeing with you. I mean, I agree with I agree with so much of what you're saying or I agree with everything. I want you to be happy, I'm rooting for you, I'm on your side, I'm with you. So, therefore, there's nothing to argue or fight about anymore because a lot of the time people ex think or expect or assume you're going to be against them or arguing or fighting against what they want or their perception or perspective. Um... So if you can let that be known, it's very powerful and transformative, okay? It cuts off the tension and the only the stress and the, the the sting. So it creates like a sense of ease and peace and trust even. So another thing you can do is you can encourage and help to uplift other people. So just compliment them, praise them, tell them they're doing really good. Tell them you like this about them, you appreciate them, tell them they look good, tell them you like their hat. Uh, tell them you look, appreciate that they did clean the house yesterday or tell them like you, you appreciate that they spoke softly to you and um, to thank them for listening to you. So all of these positive words of encouragement and positive words are very, 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 very powerful too. <sighs> so another thing you can do is avoid negative words like... Like, like, I hate this, or I'm sick and tired of this, I'm tired. Of Try not to vent at somebody or with somebody. Like, I know some people say it could serve a purpose, but ultimately there's a much better way about it, in my opinion. And that is focus far more positively. And if you change your energy, your vibration, your frequency first by changing your beliefs, perspective, and perception, this will be super powerful. <laughs> Jeanette says can we tickle them <laughs> tickling is good uh, tickling is really good actually I like that thanks Jeanette, <laughs> Jeanette. <laughs> tickling is a great idea if it's appropriate like if you know if the energy is smooth and lupula and you let's say you're in an even romantic relationship if you can introduce play and lightness and fun that is really really good so that whole idea is really good so you don't even have to literally physically tickle anyone you can just tickle tickle them energetically <laughs> you can play and joke and laugh create some light-hearted humor introduce fun lightness and in games like introduce a lighter energy so that's very 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 powerful too and all this comes with a sense of like love and respect and tenderness so the fourth or the fifth the fifth thing you can do is empathize with them Imagine being them and think about in a, w a way they can be in pain or suffering or finding the situation hard or difficult or a struggle. And this will introduce compassion into your heart and a tender feeling in your heart, which you could call love or compassion and softness within you so that you want to love them and nurture them more and you want to nourish them more and you want to have patience and gentle, tender compassion for them. This is very powerful, okay? This is a very, 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 another really tremendously good point. I love this video. I love this feeling that I have, the energy when I'm inspired to share something that comes from a bigger, deeper, wider, broader perspective than beyond the little physical own dude, the cool guy anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Michael says, you are awesome. 
Thanks, Michael. We're all awesome, you know, and we all have this ability to tune ourselves into our higher, deeper, truer self and to raise our frequency through being, this is the next point, by being very selective with our words. So like I was pointing out earlier, don't vent and use negative words like I'm sick and tired, I hate, I don't like, um, um, anything like that. Say stuff like, I love, I like, I appreciate, it's great, you're doing great, we're doing brilliant, we're doing good, we're better than before, you're doing better than before. Things are more optimis optimistic than we used to think. Like all of these sentences, everyone, can you see them just like coming out of me? Like there's a trillion ones that you can invent yourself in the moment. It creates a sense of hope, inspiration, uh, trust, like that the future is going to be well and you trust the universe and you, belief, optimism. Like even if you don't get belief or even if you don't get trust, you can get optimism. Optimism is a hundred times more powerful than pessimism. By using positive words, you triumph pessimism with optimism. Optimism and positive words and positive perception game changer in life. Melanie, I love, I love Melanie too. I love this video too. Michael says heart, heart, heart. And I love Jeanette as well. <laughs> Thanks, Melanie. Melanie says super cool videos today. Um, this is my fourth live video of everyone today. And this, I also made another non-live video because my internet connection was a bit choppy. So I made a, a YouTube video recorded on my phone for a later date. So I've made five videos today, four being live. <laughs> so crazy. So, so by introducing what I'm saying in this video, everyone, you're going to tap into your deeper, more powerful self. You're going to be in receptive mode through feeling positively and that doesn't mean avoiding anything it just means being in a receptive mode to get inspiration to tackle what needs to be tackled and dealt with not avoiding inspired action to overcome triumph integrate collect hug take hold of incorporate just just you know learn from share and benefit from all of your challenges and situations it was beautiful so the more we become in the receptive state, the more we receive and we're in connect connection and connective to the channel, to our higher self, our deeper, higher, truer, more expanded, broader perspective, higher frequencies, energies, etc. All of what sort of stuff. And it doesn't just apply to relationships, it applies to everything. So it's extremely powerful. Uh, oh, Marilyn says, love your videos. You're so inspiration, sweetheart. Today, oh, you're on day 120 of the juice fast. Wow, Marilyn, that's pretty wicked. <laughs> good job. <laughs> that's really good. Good job. Happy with you. Hope you're happy and I'm sure you're happy. So well done. That's really good. Yeah, good job. I'm sure you're very happy with that. Very healthy. Very good. So, yeah, so many powerful points in this video. Um, don't forget to feel welcome to share with any of your loved ones or friends or family or social media um, and to, to like or leave any questions or comments. So that's all the, the, the that's the full main flow of the inspiration. Uh, I can't really think immediately of anything else, but in nonviolent communication, they ask you to like say something like this is what empathy. I mentioned empathy earlier. Like, are you feeling are you feeling overwhelmed and you need some space? Are you feeling sad and need a hug? Are you feeling sad and would like a hug? So you say, you guess their emotion, are you feeling this way? And then you say, and you, would you need or would you like this? And even if you're wrong, it demonstrates that you're creating an effort to help. Um, another thing you can say is, let me know if I can help in any way. Or can I help in any way? Is there anything you'd like me to do? Can I do this for you? Offer oh, help. Like, this is so sweet. Can I make, would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a juice? Would you like a smoothie? Would you like me to make dinner for you? Put on some potatoes? You know, this type of thing is some of the things that I've done with some people close to me in my life. And it's just, I don't know. Just don't argue. Like, there's no arguments anymore since I've come to this level of awareness and knowledge, understanding and wisdom and vibration and I'm very grateful for all my teachers which is everybody and especially a few people in particular and a few one or one teacher in particular which is like Abraham but also just like my closest romantic relationships and my closest family so that would be my mom and my closest family <laughs> but yeah 
thanks everyone. I don't know what else to say. So there's no comments coming in. Marilyn says, thank you, hon. My pleasure to be here, everyone. I've really enjoyed making this video so much. So, 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 so much. So if you're just new and you, if you, if you'd like to learn more or revisit, like how to heal and transform your life, raise your frequency and vibration, become more wise, understanding and empathetic and how to transform powerfully your romantic relationships or your family relationships or relationships regarding anyone who you have hurt or trauma or pain with from the past. This will powerfully transform your energy by raising your frequency and energy and totally open your heart, help you to let go, help you to move forward with a positive, bright attitude and outlook and mind power where you get to choose deliberately your thoughts and your words and what you focus on for your future because you can apply this exactly to your future don't speak negatively about your future or pessimistically speak hopefully optimistically optimism with a sense of power divine trust in belief in yourself and the universe your and your higher perspective or self your higher consciousness and just have a more tap into the knowing that you can do it and you can have be or do like almost anything you want or even anything <laughs> feels good to say and to think eh? so michael says love you all thanks michael lots of love to you too, bro love you too so, yeah such an exciting video such an exciting topic it's just really good to learn this stuff it's totally changed my life um yeah, you can create the body and the physique and the health that you want also, everything. And the social situation, you can create the family dynamic that you want, co-create and create. You can create healing in your family, uh, your ancestral line, your bloodline. You can stop all the old patterns and totally transform. And don't forget everyone, it's not about changing anyone else, it's about changing yourself. It's about raising your own frequency and energy and vibration. Once you do that, that means you're changing your thoughts because that's where vibration frequency stem from it's your mind okay your what you think about how you remember what you envision and imagine and think about for the future how you look back on the past and the present and the story you tell about the future and the story you tell about yourself and your life and the story you tell about your past experiences or even your past traumas and pains it's their story everything in your mind everyone's all coming from your mind your mind is your vibrational creator your emotions are what's created from your mind your emotions are the first manifestation of your thoughts on your mind your emotions are the most palpable and they hit you in the body so to speak hit you they come here in your body you feel them they are the messenger telling you what you're thinking and how your mind is working so your emotions are your guidance system and your teacher to tell you what you're th thinking in your mind so all you have to do is say thank you emotion thank you and you learn how to use your mind more so it's very empowering it's very 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 positive and hopeful and empowering you can change nearly everything and anything in your life so much even pretty fast everybody you can leave a relationship that you think is too negative because you just think it's like way too negative because you're inspired instead of the fear and negative thoughts you can even transform countless relationships to be so much better you could stay in it and transform it especially if they're like um co-creating with you in a more positive light so once you raise your frequency you will be inspired and use different words and actions you will totally transform your environment by the way you're behaving acting and sounding and your body language by doing these things i mentioned in this video so so yeah it's extremely good everybody it's extremely good melanie escamilla or escamilla says thank you you are sunshine <laughs> thanks family love you all thanks for watching have a beautiful day have fun and enjoy the journey everyone have fun and enjoy have fun and enjoy enjoy and have fun where you are and who you're becoming and all of the expansions just have fun and enjoy as much as you can and you can do it tell the story of fun and enjoyment and loving learning compassion on yourself compassion on everybody yeah it's doable everyone this video is a very helpful video so do share it if you wish it's up to you um i think it's a very helpful video i couldn't imagine what would have happened to me if i heard this a long time ago but i guess the time is now it's ripe and I am where I am and I'm delighted. I love my past. 
I thank you my past. I'm great for my past. I like my past. I wouldn't want it any different. I'm glad where I am now. The future is open and ripe for the taking, the, gr- the cracking open, the creating going forward. Same with everyone's life. Doesn't matter what happened in the past. Don't let the past mess up with your vibration now. And I told you to do in this video. Tell yourself a careful story that you've deliberately, carefully formulated in your mind. And have fun. <laughs> Love you all. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. I know you're all lovingly watching. Catch you again. And if you want more videos, if you, this is on Facebook Live, but I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel. Don't forget.